Okay, <laughs> Mishlei, 2012. Um, sounds like a year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the last yeah. cycle of uh, it's the year the world ended. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it was a movie based on the Mayan uh, calendar. Yeah. yeah. But like people were actually freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of 2011. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do that every couple of years. Yeah. It's quite ridiculous. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, uh, I heard that the reason for it was like the Mayan calendar, like that was just how far they calculated it, so, yeah. right? It'd be yeah. like if someone feared that the year would end at the, uh, after December 31st, just because that's where our calendar like physically ends. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's the thing people say about Was it? I think that's the thing people say about Mashiach, yeah, but oh, yeah. it's before the year 6,000. Yeah. That's our calendar. Right. Okay. Odin Shoma Asva Ayn Roa Hashem Asa Gam Shinehem. A hearing ear and a seeing eye. Yeah. God does both of them. Also both of them. I, I wouldn't say does, I would say made. Asa means to make or to oh, do. Fine. And I think I think it's right. I mean, Oath that, right? Well that'd be makes uh, or does, but I, does, I think yeah, I think does, does would be does would be Right. right, but I would still say no, no, no. Otej is, yeah, does or makes, but I would yeah. say that of the two, I think does doesn't make sense. I think makes, mm -hmm. right? I mean, think that mm -hmm. unless you've got like, unless you were saying that for a reason, like he does eyes, I just don't know if that makes yeah. any sense. Um, yeah, so Shem made, uh, how do you translate the last part? Also, both of them, yeah, Hashem made also both of them, yeah, uh, and uh, there's no much to um, Sadigon is weird. Look at the Sadigon. Just like the ear that hears and the eye that sees, Hashem created them. So at first I was like, that's not a full sentence. And then I looked at the footnote four. Uh, this Pasuk is connected to the yesterday's Pasuk, okay, which was also the youth can be recognized in his ways if he is upright or, or, uh, or if he is a pure upright. So uh, the footnote says, the nature of the soul is uprightness. Just like the nature of the ear is to hear and the nature of the eye is to see. Uh, but it's possible with the eye and the ear to make them deviate from their nature. To, to deafen the ear and to blind the eye. So we don't have to go into that right now, but I just want to point out he does connect it to yesterday's, and that's where he gets the uh, uh, the gums. The gums are going off of each other. You know that he, uh, also a youth can be recognized in his way, whether his he in his actions, whether his he's um, upright or pure, and also God made the seeing eye and hearing ear. So I don't want to do that as our first approach, but I just want to acknowledge it. Yeah. Yeah. Even before we connect it back. Just, I, I thought the sentence kind of made sense, like just as it's a reality, yeah, like a basic fact that I see and ears here, so too it's a basic reality that God created them. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, yeah, the uh, only problem is he doesn't, not Haroa, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would, that, that, would, that would be a good way of saying, it. or you would need another Kamo right. or Kamo Hain, something like that. Yeah, right. All right, so what are the questions here? This is a pretty straightforward question wise. What's, What's the, the thing? What's the Gom do? <laughs> yeah, so. So let's say, what, first of all, let's ask the main question, which is what point is it making uh, by citing two examples of Hashem's creations, right? I mean, we know we know this, right? And then what is the gum adding? Like, what's the finish? Here, I think it's very clear that we need a practical idea or a, or a, and an audience because yeah. Yeah, what or mostly the practical application. It doesn't seem like there's a specific audience at first, but what is a um, what is the practical insight here? The audience. I think that's it, right? It just sounds like it's stating a fact. Yeah, uh, I think um, um, I feel like your first question probably a few different questions. Yeah, like it was like a um, which I'm gonna unpack it. Sure. So what is the um? Where's the muscle of a seeing eye and the hearing ear? Oh, you think it's a muscle? Or, or the comparison. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, what the compare, yeah. Um, I didn't still for the muscle. Okay, yeah, yeah, meaning to each other? Like, why is it grouping the two of them, or? No, I think that those two are like, I don't know what exactly they're conveying. Yeah. Those are like one, one unit, I, I, I think. Yeah. Um, but what did that unit convey? Okay, what is being conveyed 
by the unit of Ozen Domaas the Ayan Roa. Yeah. And then why is it emphasizing that, that Hashem created them? Okay. Why is it emphasizing that Hashem created them? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very short unpacking. I could carry on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't the whole puzzle. It wasn't the whole suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we think. I mean, just to um, to uh, phrase that question, the last question you asked mm -hmm. in a different way, like, what is the Havamina? Now, obviously, this is not uh, an intellectual Havamina. Like, it's not like you think that God created the whole universe of mind, except for eyes and ears, you know. But like, uh, what, what, why would we feel? Why would we feel or be inclined to imagine that the ear and the eye are not God's creations? And like what is that? I feel like that that's going to be a, a fruitful uh, avenue to pursue. Yeah, I feel like meaning like without the gum, I feel like it would be harder to come up with an idea of like what's this thing here. Yeah, like, I feel like the gum like totally changes it, mm -hmm. or like that. Even the those. Yeah, yeah like yeah. some that is clearly expressing an idea, mm -hmm. and I guess you could say. I mean, it doesn't answer the question of like why we're singling out hearing and seeing, mm -hmm. but like, you know, like, and the fact that it says gum, like specifically both, like maybe, you know, like you might think that like a human being couldn't function without one or mm -hmm. like, or like it absolutely has to be this way. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like a given mm -hmm. inherent that like if you're a human being, you have both. Mm -hmm. And you just think like it doesn't answer the question at all why specifically these two because that idea presumably applies across the board. Like okay, yeah. don't take anything for granted. Don't think that like they just come together. But it was like no, no, like God made both these things and each thing for an individual purpose. So. Okay, so th th just to um, uh, join this to the way I framed it here is that I was saying that the Havamina is why would you think that God didn't make them? And then you're saying that it's emphasizing the fact that both have a purpose or have a design and right. both are necessary somehow. So those are two avenues we could take for the Havamina. That's right. good. Uh, also, just as, uh, regarding your first point, I actually don't think that the gum, I think this person we would read in the same way without the gum. Really? Yeah. I just think the gum makes it clearer. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, 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 we get to the same Havamina. Unlike, for example, like some of the other gum that we've had where like the gum, like there's a lot more weight on the gum in, in, in certain things, like if you had certain other particular minus the gum, it wouldn't feel like it's stating a chiddush at all. But the very fact that this is an obvious fact means that even without the gum, I think we would still approach the the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Joe. Yeah, I was just thinking along the obvious lines. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe I guess the hava mean it could be that Tim didn't need to create eyes and ears. He could have given you the faculty of sight yeah. without eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Like, it yeah, been like you know a flat face and like a flat right, side yeah. of head, and like you could have the capability. Of doing it. But right. there's nothing. There's nothing that says like you needed an eye. Like I don't okay. need to make an eye. To yeah. Sight. Okay. So just just to summarize the three approaches so far, right? So we have what's the havmina? The havmina is that God didn't make them. The other havmina is that God um, didn't make them with this specific design, meaning. He didn't need to make both of them, or he didn't need to make the faculty the the faculties through the instruments, you know, like uh, hearing through the ear and seeing through the eye. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay, I hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking more along the lines of what you were saying. Yeah. Which is that um, I think uh, like I, I'm thinking that having that is that a person uh, has this feeling that um, since like um ears and eyes are like so like 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 sight and hearing are like so like fundamental to a person's perception mm -hmm. it is like taken for granted as like 
course that's how it is. Yeah. And, but they Hashem made even them. I don't know what the Yeah, I I I, I think that, that that's a good approach also. Going back to Avi for a second, like I think the thing that supports your approach is that the Shnehem both yeah. meaning that the Havmina is one of them, come after one, both of them, you know, right. something like that. Right. Yeah. So I, I like those two approaches. The <laughs> yours yours is creative, but uh, I'm, my mind is not inclined in that way. But uh, I, I hear where you're getting from. You know, yeah, yeah. It's funny because the um, you really uh, it is interesting. You could hear without your ears. But you can't see without your eyes. Back then, I don't I don't think they knew that back then, right? But uh, yeah, you need ear drum though. Unless if you can't ear drum as part of the ear. And, uh, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? You can hear without your well, meaning the, the, if you're talking, if the ear is just like this structure, saying like if it's like, so like let's say like you, your ears were, were chopped off, you know, you would still be able to hear, just not as well, you know. Um, you could even hear though without. I feel like I brought this up earlier in the year, in the ear. Uh, the uh, um, you could hear. Uh, there's this drummer named Evelyn Glennie um, who lost her hearing at like a very very young age, so she basically trained her body to hear uh, because you, it's vibrations, right? So like, let's say, you know, you, uh, if you're completely deaf and your eardrum is not functioning or your brain can't read the signals or whatever, you can still hear by feeling the vibrations and different pitches of sound and different vibrations, you know, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool, but. I like the location. Yeah, it is, yeah, right. Um, but either way, I don't think that's what's on my mind, but I was just, you got me thinking about that, yeah. Do you see Reservoir Dogs? I have not okay so I won't. yeah thank you yes that, that's, on, that's on the list the reason why i had to think about it is uh is for some reason in my mind the two movies two movies were recommended to me at the same time reservoir dogs and the usual suspects and okay. for the longest time i didn't see both of them and i finally saw the usual suspects but i just had to think which one was which yeah did you really say something i'm not no okay yeah so okay i i'm gonna take a uh uh approach here, there's just a, a step, is like the other, I don't know if this is a new Havmin or if this is part of the one that, that we were saying before, is that like, you might just feel like I intrinsically have these things. And therefore, they're not in the realm of Hashem's design. Like if he designed them, then they have a, a an intended purpose, you know, and by implication, they also have things that are against their purpose or things that you're not supposed to use them for. So if you just feel like I intrinsically have perception, so then it's mine and I can do what I want. And the puzzle is telling you, no, God made them, therefore like direct them in the ways that they were intended to be used. I think that's like a further step. Yeah, I think it's a further step. You're explaining what the muskana is also. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Now the question then would be, you know, I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of answering this question also, but like, you know, Mishle could have said this in a, if what I'm saying is correct, then Mishle could have said it in a more direct way, which is use your ears and your eyes properly. So why is it framing it in terms of God as the creator of them? Meaning what, what element does that add? I, like assuming that it gets to the same idea. Yeah, the, the thing that, that um, like to me, the thing, the thing that's emphasizing is the fact that it's like, it, um, there's a feeling of like it's intrinsically yours. Yeah. And because, you know, obviously your site is yours. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, it's how you have like the, uh, um, your, um, your private experiences. And yes. Like, you know, <laughs> it's, it feels like it's like a part of you. Yeah. But like even that, you know, isn't like, like, like you know, it's not like source Korea, it's like a, a gem creator. Yeah. Another thing which might be a separate idea or might just be an extension of this is one of the, so of the five senses, assuming that there are five uh, that make seeing and hearing different is they are, I don't know if this is the best way to say it, they are more passive slash automatic. Like if you want to taste something, you have to do an action in order to taste, you have to put it in your mouth, you know, smell, yeah, there are odors that come to your nose, like, um, you know, uh, uh, that are not in your control, but like, you, if you go and you smell something, like you go over to do that, you know, to, to do that, or same thing with touching something, you have to reach out and touch it. But seeing and hearing is just like, you're constantly being, as long as your eyes are open, you're constantly being bombarded with sight and you're constantly being, you know, a, 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 assaulted by sounds, you know? Uh, and so 
that I think, again, I don't know if that's a new idea, but it contributes to this feeling that, oh, this is just, perception is intrinsically a part of my existence, you know? I don't, I don't have to do anything. Like if someone, yeah, right, what do you say? I hear that, but I feel like smell would be in that category. It, it, you can make that argument, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, security cameras and, and record, audio recordings. Like we have that category as like a passive sort of thing, you know, and um, there's no equivalent to smell. Right. Like, you know, not only just because we don't get as much data out of smell, or let's say like another one, like there's a mission in Pierre in, you know, in <laughs> yeah, it's all <laughs> I love this. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, it's, um, it's, 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 it's uh, seeing eye and hearing yeah, ear. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A seeing eye and hearing ear and, uh, yes. no, what, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. and, uh, above you. yeah. Um, a seeing eye, hearing ear, and, and all, all your actions are written, you know, that's it. Yeah. So like, there's like senses, there are senses that like are so passive and automatic and constant that it's like, see, maybe you can make a difference with smell there. You're not always, I mean, physically you are always smelling, but you're not always smelling stuff. You're always seeing stuff and you're always hearing stuff, you know, dogs are, I know, but. Well, I mean, if it's quiet in the room. That's like, if there's no fragrance smell in the room. Yeah, but it's never quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it sounds sound. You, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even mean that. I mean, like, it's just, you know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 I hear. All right. Yeah, I, I think also, it also could just be that, that seeing and hearing are being used for all perception. I don't think that it right. necessarily has to be just for food. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there's the other fact, yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna say, there definitely are two primary senses. Yeah, and I think the primary, because we do get most of our information, right. uh, certainly information related to learning or like 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 knowledge, related to knowledge is through seeing and, uh, and hearing, mm -hmm. yeah. So if we take the, I think we could do one more step and then do the Mepharsham here. So, so step one was the Havamina is, God didn't make these things, these things are intrinsically mine. Step two is the the consequence of that havamina is that I can do whatever I want with them, and the puzzle is telling you no because God made them. He made them for certain purposes, and therefore you should use them for their intended purpose. And then the question, which is going to lead to the third step, is going to be like why frame it in terms of God as the creator? That's not a, a very mislaid way to to frame things. Like we're not talking about particular ratios here, you know. Um, so like, why not just say like, use your speech in line with justice or something like that. Yeah. yeah that's right. The second step and maybe sure. that, that maybe a person might think because the eyes and ears can so easily be used for negative activities, mm -hmm. that that is going to cause them to have the hobby you know, that God didn't create them. Mm -hmm. Like God wouldn't have created such an evil faculty in you like this. Mm -hmm. Right here. That does make sense. Yeah. We can take the hobby in different directions. I'm just gonna point. Just yeah, yeah. Flip. Yeah. Okay, let me let me try taking one more step here, which is that um maybe this is going based on, on the thing of the uh the passive automatic sense of these uh senses is um look seeing and hearing should be regarded as actions and as actions you can choose to do them or not do them and you can choose to and, and and those choices will result in different benefits and detriments meaning it's not just automatic stuff of like like uh you know like uh, i think the the two the, the two examples of this uh, that are going to come up are like let's say like uh, it's very easy when someone is is speaking like lush and horror or gossip or whatever to just feel like oh this stuff is just going to my ear like like, you know, like I, like, you know, whatever like I'm just, I'm hearing, you don't treat it as I am making a decision to expose my sense of hearing to this stimulus. And the same thing with like seeing stuff that you shouldn't be looking at. Like, it's very easy to say like, like, yeah, it's just going to my brain, you know, <laughs> from, uh, from what I see, you know, but no, there, these are actions and, and as actions, they have consequences and benefits depending on how you use them, you know? Okay, she was on that level. Oh yeah. Nice. We'll lesson her with Miriam or whatever, or uh, with Mraga. Oh, Mraga. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That was last week. A lot of lesson hard at these parties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like um, that, like, 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 like,
Um, we don't have a term for that yet. But, yeah. Um, that it's um, the practical application is like parallel to the, the change in the way that you think about the like the, the eye and the ear. It's saying there's a feeling of like the eye and the ear are like automatic. Yeah. And it's saying this was like like a deliberate act. Yeah. And like the the takeaway, the, like the practical is all is that you when you use the 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 eye and the ear, that is also like really a deliberate. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Hold on just a second. Uh, I just want to see if, if this is going to be a relevant model to give. Um, yeah, I'll mention this. This is uh, let me pause this for. Yeah. Um, should we look in the parking? Okay. Yeah. Um, this idea reminds me of um, a line from the, from the song Free Will by Rush that um, it, um, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Yes, that is a good, uh, yeah. that is a good, good statement. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. that's like the because that's, that's like the practical takeaway of, of this kind of yeah yeah I mean I, I think this is one where there are more particular applications which the person needs to think about like I just gave the Lush and Har one as a, as a, as an immediate example but like oh here's, here's another example I mean I think people this is not exactly hearing I guess it's more seeing than hearing but like uh people on depending on what social media they use are just bombarded with with like news whether it's actual reporting of facts or whether it's just like spins that are put on certain things you know and that that was one of the big problems of like the last like you know five years is like people not being discerning about what it is that they're taking in on a day-to-day -day basis seeing and hearing and not actually treating it as i can choose what to listen to or what to see and like that can inform who i am and how i make decisions you know that's another example um Okay, let's look, let's do our, our order of operations. Let's start with the Methuselah David. Okay, bottom right. Ozen Shema'as, Rosalomar, Guf Ha'ozen, Vahush Hashema, Asherti Shema'as. The body of the ear, never said that before, and the sense of hearing, which which is what hears, between Guf Ha'ay and Vahush Ha'ri'ya, this is going in like the, uh, in Joe's direction, right? Uh, differencing between the body and the sense. Between gupa ayin bakusha ria and the body of the eye and the sense of seeing, asher he roa who ro ro e which it sees. Hello, Hashem vara gamfnehem. Didn't Hashem create both them? Haguhim vahakushim, the body and the senses. Bechol pol Hashem lema anehu ula avodato. And that last part concludes with, with the way I said it. And everything that Hashem made is for its purpose and his avoda. Okay, so the question is, how do you combine Joe's idea and and my idea, which is said here? He's saying, so just to get clear the way he's reading the Pasuk, I mean, it's a weird way to read the Pasuk. I mean, but but I mean, you intuited it, which is Ozen, in other words, I guess, it could have said Ozen Ba'ayin, Hashem Ata Gam and then you would have said Ozen means the means hearing through your ear. Right. But he's saying, no, the Ozen that hears and the Ayin that sees. So it's both of them. So it, the, just to strengthen the question here, the main point is the end. Everything that God made, he made for for his for its purpose and for his service. And that's what I'm saying. The implication of the Pasuk is, is you should use it the way that God intended it to be used. But why does he devote like a dozen words to like making this this very important, the goof and the sense? I mean, there could be like representation for everything. Like everything that functions, like really the purpose of the thing is the function of service. Like purpose of an oven is to cook something. Right. It's not for the structure of the oven itself. Right. Like, and a person can easily fall into the, you know, fallacy that the structure of the oven is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. It's only about like the uh, okay. result that it serves. Right. And this is telling you that, no, that the structure itself is created with the chakwa. Yeah. And that there's what to be gleaned from that, you know. Okay, oven. that's a good point. Uh, that, People take it for granted. So we said people are taking the senses for granted. But in addition to that, or maybe because of that, they also take the design of the device for granted. Right. You know. Um, so the question is, why is that relevant for the the uh, the the punchline here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think also like we were saying, like this is a weird way to frame it. Like, why are you saying like like? Hashem created these things or like made made these things. Yeah. 
but like based on on this i feel like that could explain why we're wording it like that that like um like what we're saying like you might you might make the mistake of like thinking that they're separate and mm-hmm. that like the structure of the thing doesn't like directly tie into like the end result which is it like we're saying now all works together yeah. and like so like you might make that mistake but like don't make that mistake because like god created both of them mm-hmm. and like and each thing has its purpose and reason but it also like the creation of thing and the end result of the creation like work together like don't yeah. separate that that's the same right so it, 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 it emphasizing the purposefulness of the design the fact that this was made exactly to do this function right you know right right um, i think god made it as right as like yeah 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 I, I hear i mean he it's I, I my guess is that that he is getting it from the fact that it emphasizes god making right you know um just one other question oh, what was i gonna say Oh yeah, yeah. Just as a, uh, 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 um, I don't know if this is going to help or hurt, but the weird thing. I mean, maybe I'm thinking about this because of the Ramans we did yesterday. There are lots of aspects of your body that you can damage through misuse. Like if you eat the wrong foods, then you're going to give yourself like digestive issues. Or if you like, you know, if you use your your, you know, if you sleep on your on, in the wrong position, you're going to hurt your back. It's very hard especially back then. I mean, now we have lots of ways to, it's very hard to damage your eyes or your ears through misuse. You get through disease, you know, but like, like, uh, back then. It, so it is weird that like, you know, of these things that we would attach a message to of use it, right. Like use it or lose it. You can't really like use it properly or, or lose it here. Yeah. Yeah. I had headline recently. I don't know if it was really fake. But like woman stares at the sun for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You'll definitely damage your, your site that way. That's true. Yeah. And I guess that, that option has been available for all time. <laughs> yeah, but it's harder to misuse it. Like there could yeah. be no argument made that like, I mean, like when you're misusing your body in, in other yeah. ways, it's like, you know, oh, I have like a strong desire to do this, yeah. you know, and like, and you're like not acknowledging the misuse or the damage that you're doing. But like, there is nothing to be gained in any capacity from staring at that's the true, yeah, except yeah. for damaging your eyes. <laughs> exactly. You have to just be not mentally stable. Right, right. The sun for three minutes. Yeah, but that's like, true. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas a person might strongly desire large, old, salted fish. Yeah, <laughs> and it use your sense of taste. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's look at um, or what? Or coal. Yes, or coal. Yeah. Let's look at uh, the meat. Uh, no, the meat. Rubina Yona. Unless you connected to the next topic. Where's Rubina Yona here? Uh, where is the video on here? Oh, Ozen Shamas Ayn Roa Asham Gam Asham Gam Shneem. Oh yeah, he does connect to the next one. All right, so let's not do a video now. <laughs> let's do the Miiri, who connects to the previous one, which we did not read, but maybe we'll still be able to get an idea. Miiri left column towards the bottom. Ozen Shamas Ayn Roa Asham Asham Gam Shneem. Ulai Nixar Lamashi is here. The Pasuk of Koda. Maybe it's connected to what was warned about in the previous Pasuk. Lahadkir Ha'av Lahanhing Esbano Kfi Masha Ro Betibel. To warn the father to raise his son based on what he sees in his nature. But Amar, and he said, Sheteva Shema Hayitira. Ain Shinuyav Matui Ella Ba'amal Gadol Uvehafreach Limudi Vehergel Ad Shiyashuv Lo Keteva Gamor. Okay, so. Your when he says have, I think he means like your instinct, instinctual nature. Your instinctual nature will obey or listen to its creation, and you cannot change it except with great work and force of habit until it becomes second nature. Okay, I, I think the, I, I skimmed the uh, his previous puzzle thing, uh, the his interpretation of the previous puzzle, and I think the way he learned the previous puzzle is if you see your kid like who is, uh, who is tending towards a certain thing you should raise him with that in mind. Like you should not try to put a kid into a mold. You should raise him based on like the potentialities you see. So he's saying here too, um, he's gonna follow his, his, his nature, okay? Uh, unless you like work on it to like reroute the nature or, uh, or make something second nature. Hashem of Alde Amar Hashem Asagam Shnehem Inyan Beterem Etzar Chaba Betan Yadatiha Uvhevko Uposhe Mi Betan Korelach. Okay, fine. So the people talking about God uh, creating people with certain nature. Okay, let, let's see if you, this other interpretation. Um, or maybe after talking about the perfection of Midos, according to some of the, the commentators on the previous passage, Now it's alluding to perfection of the intellect. 
Vamar and it's saying Shinyano Bahasmadas Halimut Ushkidaso. And it's talking about constantly learning and being diligent about it. It is known that the beginning of, of, uh, of wisdom is a listening ear. To stand in the station of Chachamim. Didn't we read Amiri on this recently? About like how you should just listen to Chachamim and listening is the first part of Chachma? I feel like this was in Tehillim, a Tehillim shir. Because I remember tomorrow asking about it. Yeah, in Shtika also. Oh, yeah, 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 right. That was also, yeah, yeah. In Shtika, we talked about... Um, the Rabbinian Yona. Oh, was it the the Wednesday night? It was the Wednesday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Russell Amar La Amab Matzah Chachamim Lishmo Ulahad and Yibram. Yeah. The Akra and afterwards Ayin Roa, the seeing eye, Hain Reias Ayin. Uh, so to or you know the seeing of an eye. Liros Im Hasteper Yashuv Machashav To Raa. In Ula La Ayin Ulhis Boded B'Mashalaman to see. Sorry to see. Oh, im hasefer with the book. What does this mean? With the book, Yashuv machshav to hara, it'll turn back his evil thought. I don't know what that means. Lain leads boded b'meshalama to investigate and to like concentrate on what he learned. Hein yesasechel. Okay, so whether seeing of the eye or whether seeing of the intellect, meaning, is it talking about like focusing on the book and like not being distracted by stuff you physically see, or it's talking about the seeing of the intellect? Livchon ha divine baatmo to check stuff out on your own, to separate out the, the food from the waste. This is appeasing God's will and, uh, and finding his intent. He made you and he will set you up. Yeah, I, I, I don't exactly know what that was. I also don't know why he has to connect it to the previous one. Seems to stand on its own. Maybe because it's a gun. Ooh, lie. That's true. <laughs> that they lie. lie. Yeah, yeah, you're right. By the way, those are two uh, two categories in the Farshim. The ones who will verbalize their degrees of certainty or uncertainty and the ones who won't. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I never like really noticed that before. Yeah. And then until like just now. Yeah. And I was like thinking like, Yeah, and he does it a lot because I think he quotes different uh, he always gives you like a selection of Mafarshim, which is why I think the Mir is the best one uh, to start off with. Yeah, that was one of the nice things about the um, sleep book. He he, um, he um, like it's something that you like. You don't. Is this a paid advertising? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, like he um, he's very clear about what is his own opinion versus what is like scientifically backed. Or, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Let's look at just the, the three uh on the previous page, right column. So this is connected to the previous one. That the merit of a person is attained through these two organs. The ear, to listen to Chachma Umusar. Okay, so that was, that was what I was saying, is that the two ways you gain knowledge are through those two things, listening and, and seeing through reading. And since the... The the virtue of the ear is greater than the virtue of the eye. Al kain amar gam shneim. It says also both of them. Oh, so meaning it's it, it has to like equate them in a way. Meaning because the ear is actually not equal. Ironically, v'hodi anu ki Hashem as am chesed miito lechonin avada chachma. Hold on. Where is this? Utmana avadat. Okay, so God did a chesed by giving us both these things. Um, giving us these ways to get knowledge. The gam lahoti milev haonim. Oh, here we go. This, this is what I was saying before, or similar to what I was saying before. Also, to remove from the mind of those who say, lo yir e ka velo yavin el Yaakov. God will not see, and the God of uh, Yaakov will not uh, will not understand. Vaisa tishuvatam betidam, and the the response of that decide. Hanotea ozen halo yishma. Does the did the one who implanted the ear will he not hear? Imyoter ein halo yavit. Will the one who who uh, created the eye not see? All right, Dabar Acher, this is one I, that caught my eye. That's the Raya. Hashem Avagam Pnehem, in Kain Yesh Lacha Lafachet Shlo Tishma Vatira Dabar Maguna. Therefore, you should be you should be careful and fear that you shouldn't hear or see something that's inappropriate. So that was like the the Nachman I was saying. Dabar Acher, another interpretation, Lithkor HaOzen V'Hayin, is to exempt the eye, the ear and the eye. He Ozen V'Hayin V'Hachotem Inam Birushu Social Adam. Oh, he does add the nose, right? The eye, <laughs> the ear, and the eye and the nose are not in a person's control. Kiyadav raglavupiv, like his hands and uh, feet and mouth. 
Ulufamim Yishma Vira Vira Bal Korko Pesa Pitom. This is funny how he just sneaks the nose in there, right? <laughs> but it doesn't even say nose. Um, and therefore, sometimes he'll hear or see or smell something against his will immediately. Al Kain Amar Hashem Asagam Shneim. That's why it says, oh, this is why, that God made both of them. Vulai Imilas Gam Lerabos Hakotem. Maybe Gam is to include the nose. Umiko Makom Yeshli Zar B'Chol Yichalto Le'etom Oznav V'Le'etom Enav Shlo Yishma V'Yitzhako B'Dover Maguna. Therefore, a person should um, be careful to the best of his ability to cover his ears and to close his eyes to not hear and not see something despicable. So I think that brings out a nuance, which is because those things are not entirely in your control, then there is a certain, I think that's what he means by lift tour, that there's a certain like excuse you give yourself that when something impinges upon these senses, you're like, oh, I couldn't help it. Well, yeah, you couldn't help it impinging upon the senses, but you could try to avoid encountering it. Or once it you hear it, then you like find a way to get out of it. Yeah. Reminds me of Chazal that a person has two ways to go. Yeah. And one of them has the woman by the river, the other one. Right. Clear. And he goes by the one with the women, even if he doesn't look, he's still called the Chote. Right. That's a good, that's a good, uh, good association. Yeah. All right. I got to stop now. Also, this whole thing.